Hey guys, it's Andy, and today I'm gonna to show you guys the BLK360 Imaging Laser Scanner. Inside of the BLK360, there is a laser distance meter, uh, which is used to create the point cloud. Um, there are also three outward facing cameras, which um, are used to create the panoramic image. And we also have a thermal camera on the side as well. So you guys might be wondering, what is this LiDAR technology and how does this scanner work? LiDAR is measuring distance with light. Um, some of you may have used our small distal products. Uh, a, they're a handheld device with a laser pointer. You point it at, at an object, um, press the button, and it measures the distance to that object. And it does this by shooting out a pulse of light um, and recording the amount of time that it takes for that light to fly through the air, hit the object, and then for some of that light to get bounced back to the sensor. Um, so it uses the, the speed of light along with that time to measure that distance. The BLK360 has a laser distance meter, um, but it also has a uh, rotating mirror which rotates around the horizontal axis, and the BLK itself rotates around the vertical axis. So you can set the BLK360 up on a tripod, and when you take a scan, it's going to send out a pulse of light. Um, that pulse of light is gonna be reflected off the mirror in a very specific direction. It's gonna fly through the air until it hits an object, and then part of that light is gonna be reflected right back to the BLK360. So now it knows exactly how far away that object is. Uh, but it also knows exactly which angle the mirror was at uh, when it sent out that pulse of light, and it knows which um, direction the BLK360 itself was facing. So using all that information, it can calculate exactly where that 3D point is in space in relation to uh, the device itself. Then the mirror rotates ever so slightly and it does this whole process again, uh, this time measuring a point just above the previous point that it took. So the mirror spins all the way around measuring anything that's in its line of sight. And during this whole process, uh, the BLK360 itself is spinning. Uh, so by the time the mirror gets all the way around to uh, where it started, the BLK has spun and now it's measuring a, a line of points right next to the first line of points. But in reality, the mirror is spinning so fast you can hardly see it and it's doing this whole process up to 360,000 times every second. Um, so it goes around, sweeps the entire room, taking measurements in every direction. And then you can render all these points in software like Recap or Cyclone. Here's an example of a single scan taken with the BLK360. Uh, right off the bat, you might think this looks like a really detailed model. Uh, but if we actually zoom in, you can see uh, these are all individual points. So you can see that the scanner takes measurements in every direction to capture your site, which creates this cloud of points which we call a point cloud. What you're seeing here is actually the raw point cloud, uh, which is colorized by the intensity of the light that was returned to the scanner. Um, but if you remember, those three outward facing cameras were taking a panoramic image of the site, so you can actually colorize this point cloud with that panoramic image to create this true color, realistic 3D environment. So this was a very brief overview of how the BLK360 works and how laser scanning works in general. I hope it was helpful. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with point clouds, which I'm gonna be going over in future videos. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.